Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Nick Kyrgios launches furious rant as he loses to Rafael Nadal. Summary of headline article. Nick Kyrgios collected a point penalty for verbal obscenity as he went down to a narrow three set. Defeat at the hands of this season's Mr. Invincible. Rafael Nadal. So when Kyrgios began swearing at 0-6 down in the first set tie break. Umpire Carlos Bernards handed him a point penalty. Thus ending the set without further ado. In truth. Kyrgios was lucky to get away without further censure. Mind you. It wouldn't have made much difference either way. Nadal rushed through the next game without the slightest fuss. And then held to love in his final service game to complete his 7-6. 5-7. to 6-4 victory in 2 hours 45 minute. From the sun under the main headline of West Ham 2 severe 0. AGG 2-1. Yarmolenko scores emotional extra time winner. Summary of headline article. Ukrainian international Andriy Yarmolenko netted an emotional extra-time goal to seal a stunning Europa League last 16 win against Sevilla. The Hammers dumped the six-time winners of the competition out after a 2-0 win at an electric London stadium. And never has a Europa League tie. Often dubbed the second-tier competition amongst Europe's elite. Been so captivating. The London Stadium has been called many things since West Ham set up camp here back in 2016. Soulless. Lifeless. Perhaps too big and too ambitious for the club trying to fill it. And it was indeed Yarmolenko who netted the winner deep in extra time to finish off the most. Perfect of all scripts. From the sun under the main headline of Fantai's neck to goal post summary of headline article. A protester's bizarre demo brought a Prem game to a standstill last night when he tied his neck to the goal post with cable ties and needed a pair of bolt cutters to be set free. And referee Craig Pawson halted play as an army of stewards. Police and safety officers came on to get the man off the pitch. Stewards eventually carried the protester away, with someone throwing a bottle of drink at him. And the match restarted after a lengthy delay. That incident saw the spectator jump the hoardings on the hour mark. Again wearing a t-shirt with a written message. Before being quickly removed. A steward then pinned him down with a knee on his back behind the goal as he waited for backup as. Play resumed. From Mail Online under the main headline of Hamilton set to turn up the heat on the fear over Abu. Derby Report. Summary of headline article. Lewis Hamilton will turn the heat up on the fear over delays to its report into the Abu Dhabi. Debacle at the end of the last F1 season. Marzi has subsequently been removed from his post. And rules have been changed including one that would prevent a repeat of his decision. Lewis Hamilton will turn the heat up on the fear over delays to its Abu Dhabi debacle report Max. Verstappen was gifted the Drivers' Championship by former race director Michael Marzi but Hamilton remains upset that the fear report into the circumstances around the race remains unpublished. He said last month that he hoped, everyone, would get to see it but as of yesterday Mercedes had still not seen a copy. It is believed Hamilton will now raise the issue again in the hope of provoking the fear interaction. From Sky Sports under the main headline of Ben Stokes. England all-rounders blistering century against West Indies sees him join exclusive club. Summary of headline article. He plundered 64 runs from 34 deliveries in that period. With four sixes and eight fours. 
Ben Stokes' century came in a rapid-fire 114 deliveries, and yet with just 9% false strokes. It was the most secure of his 11 test centuries. The look to the skies and the traditional folded finger celebration showed exactly who he was. Dedicating that century to the knock saw him join an illustrious group of cricketing legends but for England. Stokes is truly one of a kind. West Indies and England will resume the second test at 2 p.m. UK time on Friday. From Mail Online under the main headline of Southgate to meet with Rashford after axing him from his England squad. Summary of headline article. Gareth Southgate will hold heart-to-heart -heart talks with Marcus Rashford after axing the Manchester United star from his England squad on Thursday. The out-of-form forward was the big-name omission from the 25-man party for the Wembley friendlies. Against Switzerland tomorrow week and Ivory Coast three days later. But there was a first call-up for Crystal Palace defender Mark Guahy. Whose teammate Tyrick Mitchell could join the party next week. It is a difficult time for him and he is clearly not at his best, said Southgate. Southgate explained Carvalho could not be chosen because he does not hold an English passport. From the Telegraph under the main headline of 10 things England have to get right to beat France. Summary of headline article. France v England. Six Nations 2022. What time is kickoff? What TV channel is it on and what is our prediction? From Evening Standard under the main headline of Premier League Table 2021-22, Latest Standings. Fixtures and Results. Summary of Headline Article. Tihi Race for the Top 4 continues to hot up in the Premier League. West Ham downed Watford on Tuesday to leap back into the final Champions League qualification place. As Manchester United drew 1-1 at Burnley. On Wednesday, Tottenham missed out on the chance to make upwards movements of their own by losing at home to Southampton, while Manchester City bolstered their lead atop the table with a win over Brentford. Arsenal got back to winning ways with a clash at high-flying Wolves on Thursday, with Liverpool beat Leicester on the same night. Premier League 2021-22 Pose Team PWDL Grand PTs 1 Manchester City 2 4 1 9 3 2 4 3 6 0 2 Liverpool 2 3 1 5 6 2 4 1 5 1 3 Chelsea 2 4 1 3 8 3 3 0 4 7 4 West Ham 2 4 1 2 4 8 1 1 4 0 5 Arsenal 2 2 1 2 6 6 9 3 9 6 Manchester United 2 3 1 1 6 6 6 3 9 7 Tottenham 2 1 1 1 3 7 1 3 6 8 Wolves 2 2 1 0 4 8 2 3 4 9 Brighton 2 2 6 1 2 4 0 3 0 10 Southampton 2 3 6 1 0 7 7 2 8 1 1 Aston Villa 2 2 8 3 1 1 4 2 7 1 2 Leicester 2 0 7 5 8 3 2 6 1 3 Crystal Palace 2 3 5 1 0 8 3 2 5 1 4 Brentford 2 4 6 5 1 3 1 4 2 3 1 5 Leeds United 2 2 5 8 9 1 6 2 3 1 6 Everton 2 1 5 4 1 2 1 3 1 9 1 7 Newcastle 2 2 3 9 1 0 2 0 1 8 1 8 Norwich City 2 3 4 3 1 3 3 2 1 7 1 9 Watford 2 2 4 3 1 5 1 8 1 5 2 0 Burnley 2 0 1 1 1 8 1 1 1 4 Premier League 2021 22 fixtures Game Week 24 
All Times GMT. Tuesday. February 81945, Newcastle 3-1 Everton 1945, West Ham 1-0 Watford 2000, Burnley 1-1 Manchester. United Wednesday. February 91945, Manchester City 2-0 Brentford 1945, Norwich 1-1 Crystal Palace 1945, Tottenham 2-3. Southampton 2000, Aston Villa 3-3 Leeds Thursday. February 101945, Liverpool 2-0 Leicester 1945, Wolves 0-1 Arsenal. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of nine major players in Chelsea bidding war is takeover. Deadline approaches. Summary of headline article. Instead. They will focus on which potential owner would be the best fit for the club and urge each bidder to explain what they can bring to the table. Here Mirror Football takes a look at the main figures in the frame. Who would be the most responsible owner of Chelsea Football Club? Todd Burley and Hans-Jörg Whiskey members. Todd Burley. Swiss tycoon Hans-Jörg Wiss and Jonathan Goldstein their sporting background. Bolhe is part owner of LA Dodgers. It's proper Chels. Sir Martin brought in key members and background. Chelsea fan Seb Co. Creative Artists Agency and Evolution Media Capital. Investment banker Michael Klein their sporting background. Co. masterminded the London 2012 Olympics and has huge sporting knowledge and contacts at Chelsea. From BBC under the main headline of Windies Survive Huge Bangladesh Scare. Summary of headline article. Jyoti takes West Indies Wicketwomen's World Cup. Mount Monganui West Indies 140-9. 50 overs. Campbell 53 asterisk Bangladesh 136. 49.3 overs. Matthews 4-15. Fletcher 3 to 29. Taylor 3 to 29 West Indies 1 by 4 runs scorecard. Table Bangladesh fell agonizingly short of one of the biggest shocks in women's World Cup history. Against West Indies. Who escaped with a 4 run win. In a game in which 17 wickets fell to spin. West Indies needed Shemaine Campbell's 53 not out to get to 140-9. There was a concerning moment when West Indies pace bowler Shamilia Connell collapsed in the 47th. Over of the Bangladesh innings. West Indies go third with six points and, depending on other results, may only need to beat Pakistan on Monday to reach the semi-finals. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.